Russia. Go home now. Non-vegan? War? I'll no sweat. They only just make our world more and more dangerous to live in. So even the moon runs away, the earth stops spinning, the sun is broken almost into pieces with some giant holes, one ripped in its middle 20 times bigger than our planet. What's the problem? Oh, it just might fall to earth. Why? The answer might come too late for you. Uh, and or for all of us. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashava. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. This morning, a Christmas Eve Arctic blast is pummeling the eastern U.S. Buffalo battered with a historic blizzard. Wind gusts exceeding 70 miles per hour, causing whiteout conditions. There's cars about 35, 40 feet away. You can barely see them. Knocking out power. Winter storms. Effects of climate change, part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. Based on the current cruel practices of the dairy industry in India and around the world that violate the principle of ahimsa or non-violence, plus all the scores of medical studies showing that dairy consumption adversely affects our health and well-being, I believe if they were here today, the classic saints such as Mahavira, Guru Kabir, Guru Nanak, Tukarama, Rav Das, Tulsi Das, Nam Dev, Darya Shahib, etc. would not only be advocating a vegetarian diet, but a vegan diet. James Bean, vegan. If you ever visit Nunavut in northern Canada, you can greet the locals with Kanu Persi, which means how are you in Nuktitut, one of the official languages of Nunavut. Friendly viewers, my name is Alyssa P. The carefree people of Nunavut wish for all souls to be liberated through the care and upliftment of the divine. Welcome to our show, Winter Storms, Effects of Climate Change, Part 1 of 2. During the holiday season, crowds of people excitedly prepare to welcome in the year's most joyful celebrations. During the holiday week of 2022, however, a massive winter storm brought freezing winds along with heavy snowfall to the U.S causing significant damage and traffic hazards. This morning, a Christmas Eve Arctic blast is pummeling the eastern U.S. Buffalo battered with a historic blizzard. Wind gusts exceeding 70 miles per hour, causing whiteout conditions. There's cars about 35, 40 feet away. You can barely see them. Knocking out power and prompting a travel ban throughout the area. This is an epic statewide hazard. There's no other way to describe this. The rapidly intensifying system known as a bomb cyclone turning deadly. Ohio's governor announcing four people died in weather-related accidents. At least three people killed in Kentucky. Lake effect snow leaving a trail of car crashes and traffic pileups. More than a million people lost power. Flash floods followed by frigid temperatures could spell more trouble today in New York. The storm bringing holiday travel to its knees. Ground stops keeping planes out of the air from Seattle to Charlotte, Milwaukee to Memphis. Seattle's ice storm prompting Alaska Airlines to cancel more than 500 flights. Across the country, nearly 6,000 cancellations and more than 10,000 delays.
On December 23, 2022, it was reported that a gigantic cross-country winter storm dubbed Elliot with massive intensity was reported to become a bomb cyclone, exhibiting strength equivalent to a Category 2 hurricane. Tens of thousands of people who had plans for holiday travel were stranded at airports as 5,700 flights were canceled. A bomb cyclone is a storm that intensifies very rapidly. This typically happens when a cold air mass collides with a warm air mass and a mid-latitude cyclone occurs. As the cyclone intensifies and the system's pressure drops quickly in a short period of time, it becomes a bomb cyclone. Storm pressure is measured by millibars. The lower the millibars, the more powerful the storm. Storms regularly see drops of 10 to 15 millibars. But when pressure drops by 24 or more in less than 24 hours, you have yourself bombogenesis. Think of it as a winter hurricane, say a category one, that's often accompanied by strong winds, blizzard conditions, and rain or snow. Temperatures in Colorado drop to a record-breaking low from 5.5 degrees Celsius to minus 22.7 degrees Celsius. In other parts of the U.S., the temperatures in Cheyenne, Wyoming plunge from about 6 degrees Celsius to minus 16 degrees Celsius within 30 minutes. Flash floods occurred in various coastal areas and lakes, and high freezing temperatures were recorded. Elk Park, Montana faced the coldest temperature with a freezing record of minus 45 degrees Celsius and cold winds of minus 58 degrees Celsius. Erie County, New York experienced more than 101 centimeters of snow, while Buffalo saw 131 centimeters. Over 700,000 homes went without power for heating as residents struggled with the freezing cold. On December 28, 2022, it was reported that storm-related deaths took the lives of more than 60 people in the U.S. The deaths were attributed to cold temperature, exposure, car crashes, and other detrimental effects of the storm. According to the Honorable Kathy Hochul, Governor of New York, Winter Storm Elliot was the blizzard of the century. Winter Storm Elliot unleashed its most potent blizzard forces in Buffalo, New York. High winds with a hurricane-type ferocity of up to 112 kilometers per hour caused traffic hazards. The Honorable Byron Brown, Mayor of Buffalo, said, There are some people in Buffalo saying this is one of the worst storms they've ever seen. Certainly, it is a very challenging storm. The state of emergency was ordered in the mountains just outside Los Angeles. Already buried under as much as seven feet of snow, trapped residents in San Bernardino County are rationing food and running short on supplies as another major snowstorm barrels in. 
this once in a generation storm shutting down more than 70 miles of Interstate 80, a lifeline for commerce. Nationwide, more than 10 million are under winter weather alerts. New York City today with its first significant snowfall as thunderstorms and the threat of tornadoes close in on the south. But back on the west coast, another whiteout is on the way. While it's beautiful in the mountains outside of Los Angeles, travel isn't just treacherous. For many, it's impossible. Thousands of people in this community are currently without power. They are trapped in some cases and they have nowhere to go to get warm. In California, it's been a winter of discontent. The season of storms has relentlessly dumped round after round of snow, with blizzard conditions overnight in elevated communities dropping two to three inches of snow every hour. Sheriff's deputies in Northern California are using snowmobiles to check on trapped residents after many major roadways were shut down. Everyone here is feeling completely stuck. Most of the stores are running out of supplies. Uh, the gas stations appear out of gas. The storm has also turned deadly. An 80-year-old woman was killed when her snow-laden porch collapsed. Many in Southern California's San Bernardino Mountains have also been stranded. County officials declared a local emergency yesterday to get state and federal help clearing highways and neighborhoods. The county says the snow it managed to plow yesterday will be replaced by another foot of snow by tomorrow. And with all that snowfall comes more heavy rain in lower regions and the potential for mudslides like this one, which came dangerously close to this home. It's indeed saddening to see such detrimental effects of extreme weather incidents. Over the years, climate science has warned us that the link between climate change and severe weather occurrences could lead to more dire events in the future. Scientists have also raised the alarm that animal people meat accounts for nearly 60% of all greenhouse gases. Researchers have determined that 17.3 billion metric tons of greenhouse gases a year are released into the atmosphere from the animal people livestock industry. Let's all combine forces to end climate change and its impending extreme weather events by eliminating animal people consumption and adopting the planet-saving vegan lifestyle. Moving toward a sustainable lifestyle is critical as our climate becomes even more unstable. Vegan, an angel in disguise. We'll take a moment now to pray that people worldwide will soon shift to the vegan lifestyle. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show, Winter Storms, Effects of Climate Change, Part 1 of 2. On December 23, 2022, news reports revealed that the bomb cyclone felt in the U.S. also brought strong winds, freezing rain, and heavy snowfall across Canada. As the storm swept across Ontario and Quebec, schools were closed due to the frigid conditions. Power to homes was cut and flights were cancelled. Heavy rain and high winds also caused traffic chaos, leading to road accidents. Canada's official weather report media outlet Environment Canada announced strong freezing winds of up to 100 km per hour are expected, accompanied by widespread blowing snow, which will significantly reduce visibility. The winter storm unleashed its frigid forces on Canada's most populous provinces. In Ontario and Quebec, up to 375,000 homes were disconnected from power causing residents to be without electrical heating needed to face the icy weather. Senior Media Relations Advisor Tiziana Bachega Rosa said that vigorous efforts to restore power by Ontario's largest electric utility, Hydro One, were slowed down by another wave of snow, which increased the number of outages. Tiziana added, there are those who may be affected by a more recent outage due to the continuous weather. The Honorable Nancy Alcock, 
mayor of the town of Huntsville, said that Huntsville and other areas in the Masoka district experienced one of the worst storms in decades. She explained, You've got these massive tree canopies covered with snow. It is a real recipe for causing serious hydroelectric outage problems. And in Crystal Beach, Ontario, the freezing blizzard turned homes into ice cover structures, making them look like a scene out of Disney's film Frozen. This is how cold it's been. These are houses frozen on the shores of Lake Erie, a street in ice sculpture. The temperatures have taken their toll across North America. The reach of this bomb cyclone has extended across thousands of miles and several days. It has gripped millions of people. Steve Fleshfetter, a meteorologist in Toronto, said, Every winter we expect storms, but this one is significant. We're seeing differing weather types that are all leading to different impacts affecting a very large population based in a short time span. In January 2023, reports stated that a significant winter storm had entered Atlantic Canada. The storm was felt through most of New Brunswick, southern Newfoundland, and Labrador. Weather warnings announced that New Brunswick might experience as much as 30 centimeters of snow. Eastern Newfoundland saw intense cold winds of up to 80 kilometers per hour. This was accompanied by heavy blowing snow and whiteout conditions. The heavy snowfall made driving treacherous. College campuses in Nova Scotia and public libraries in Halifax were closed due to the storm. Electricity from the Nova Scotia Power Company was disrupted, causing more than 42,000 customers to be without power. Alistair Alders, a weather specialist at Saltwire Network in Halifax, said, It's hard to believe it's January 19th and we're only now talking about the first substantial and maybe even for some significant snowfall of the season. Repeatedly, climate scientists have warned us that extreme weather events are connected to climate change. The massive winter storm that swept through the U.S. and Canada is a reminder that we have to quickly stop human-made activities that can cause more severe weather disasters. Professor Mark Howden warns, Clearly, climate change is an ongoing factor and that will result in the increased likelihood of significant severe extreme events. Climate scientists have already published research that presents mounting evidence of the link between climate change and extreme weather events, such as intense winter storms. The important work of putting the brakes on such dire effects on our lovely planet is in our hands. The wise warnings from Supreme Master Qinghai, vegan, reiterate the urgent need for worldwide change. What can we do to neutralize the effects of climate change or adapt to the forthcoming changes? We must, first of all, and the most important thing, we have to stop global warming by choosing a sustainable diet that is vegan. This will almost immediately stabilize the planet, the weather, and then we can think about adapting to the changes. Meat causes hundreds of billions, hundreds of billions of U.S. dollars in medical costs alone and economic burdens on families and governments. We are the ones who are paying the industry to continue producing this problem, producing animal people, meat, fish people and the like with our hard-earned tax money that's used to subsidize them. Ionic, huh? The U.S. government could, of course, redirect the billions of dollars now spent on animal people's livestock subsidies to help farmers switch to organic vegetable and fruit agriculture. That would be a great help to your country and the health of the Americans. The government could use these powerful tools to spread campaigns about Veg alternatives, bans on animal people meat, and laws to help people switch to organic vegan farming and consumption. A global switch to a veg diet could even save the world governments a lot of money 
as much as 80% of all the climate mitigation costs of U.S. 40 trillion by the year 2050. That is, we save U.S. 32 trillion in climate mitigation costs, and having a healthy vegan population is a good deal, good business deal, in all positive aspects. There is a very good reason for the American government to abolish animal people's meat, fish people, eggs and dairy, or the animal people products altogether. We must stop animal people products now and at all costs if we want to keep this planet. I repeat, we must stop animal people products right now and at all costs if we want to keep this planet. We thank our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan for sharing her wise words on what we can do to save our planet. May we remember to make the wise choice of adopting the vegan diet to end the excessive greenhouse gases that are emitted from the animal people livestock industry. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free for download at crisistopeace.org. Don't be vegan, because you'll live longer and feel greater. Thank you for your supportive presence today. Please join us on Monday, April 17th for Winter Storms, Effects of Climate Change, Part 2 of 2. Coming up next is Champion of the Earth, Dr. Gladys Kalimar Ziku Soka, Saving Our Precious Gorilla People, Part 2 of 2. May you and your loved ones be spiritually uplifted by the Divine. Russia, leave Ukraine or Ukraine now. Peace be with you too. Be vegan. Make peace, do good deeds, hell not rich. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash PE.